Like if you wake up and we're in a a Marvel world or a DC world, <laughs> are you a villain or a superhero? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag 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 hashtag, hashtag the cannons. C C T V. Welcome back to our eating show. Sure. All right, y'all, we back today with another mukbang, and today we better tell them what we eating. Y'all, we got soul food Sunday. Y'all, we got some cute steak. We got buttery rolls, collard greens, and then some garlic herb mashed potatoes. Right there. That's what we got, y'all. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn it on notifications, set them to all, so you be notified each and every time the cannons drop some heat. For that oh, yeah. And remember to hit that like button, y'all. Remember hashtag grow, baby, grow. We on the road to 100K. If you, if you, if you are new here, if you this your first time on our channel, thank you for coming. I hope you subscribe, mm -hmm. guys. If you already part of the family, welcome back. Y'all know the deal. It's time to go ahead and pray so we can eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished in our bodies and bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in Son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. So we ain't gonna waste no time. Let's get to it. Uh, got some crew steak. Crew steak. I got extra, extra gravy here on the side for my mashed potatoes. Mm. Um, Dixie. You got the. Uh, you got spoon stuff over there. Oh. Why are you looking at me? Hey, I was trying to get your plate. You eat off the paper. <laughs> you standing there looking. <laughs> Come on, so I can lunch lady up. Uh, uh, God, uh, God uh, damn! Them chives. <laughs> chives be good. What you mm, talking about? Mm. They all in there anyway, so you might as well. Because <laughs> I'm missing me. All right, y'all. Give me a nice cup of the mashed potatoes. Then we're going to sit her off to the Cezioide. And then um, I'm going to move my... You got some collard greens, y'all. I did not make these collard greens. I just uh, doctored them up after I cooked them. All right. Yeah, so... Um, get a couple pieces of cube steak off of her. Y'all, you know, they've been sitting for a minute, so the top don't look that great, but they are just as delicious, I promise. Ew. And they tender and good, I know they are. I don't like no tough cube stick. <laughs> Hell no. Put a little bit of gravy on there. Grab it deep, boo. Hey, you want some? Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. You yes, see? Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, today I will be drinking some <laughs> Wakanda. I, oh, some Wakanda Sprite. It's supposed to taste like the heart shaped herb. And they say if you drink enough of it, you will gain this drink of the black pen. How many of those have y'all have you drank? I feel my strength coming so a lot. Mm -mm. Nah, it's just Sprite Zero. <laughs> oh, hmm. mm -mm. Who I want to use? Hmm. I'll slap today. <laughs> oh, I forgot she pulled out. Oh, <laughs> but it's cool. Let's see, y'all. It's been a while since I had Q State. Mm -hmm. I like my grandma Q State. I prefer it. Probably over mine, but you know, hey. Everything. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just said he ain't getting no Hawaiian rolls because they won't looking up to par. Hey, what? Well, 
Ain't nothing up at all. Let me dry it out. Mm-hmm. Say much. <laughs> we coming just give us a minute. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. God, I had no. Um, mm -hmm. Up. Mm -mm. You'll be able to take a bite out the cube stick. <clears throat> Are y'all done doing your Christmas shopping? Because us. <laughs> We don't learn. One day. <laughs> it's terrible. Mm -hmm. For real. I ain't even ate none of the greens, Lord. Oh, Lord. I have. Mm. Mm. This is hot, though. Mm -mm. You know how something be so good and you be kind of eager and you got to tell yourself to slow down. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm doing. Yeah, because right. it be full as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, slow down, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I don't like being is full. You got to sit there and roll around. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get full of something like this. Mm -hmm. Those are the mashed potatoes. You done for them. You ain't gonna mm. want to do nothing. Mm -mm. Mm. Y'all actually sent me a video the other day that we haven't discussed outside of what we about to do now, but he That's sent me I a video. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, he sent me a young lady and a young man. <laughs> they sitting at the table. He is recording her. And he is taking her out on a date. And this lady is trying to order two steak. Let me emphasize steak dinners. <laughs> for her kids from the waitress to go. For them to eat. And her reasoning is because. Well, I'm going to put it out there. She's trying to make him pay. Yes, sorry. For two extra steaks. Okay. Yes, for two extra steaks for her kids at home. Because he was late. That was her reasoning. That don't make sense to, sense to me. Also, kids don't belong to him. Do not belong to him. And I think more than the situation, what bothered me the most is that the waitress is saying... Yeah, you should do it. Okay, I'm going to put them in. Oh, girl, this is none of your business. I didn't mind y'all business. Don't worry about me. And if you put them For in. For one. <laughs> and if I was a dude, if you would have put them in, that's on you. Right. I ain't paying for shit. You damn right. I'm <laughs> no, I'm just like... Girl, at what point do you think that's right because he was it late? It was really he all... He late every day. <laughs> it was really all... In, in, I might as well just take this with me. The whole thing. It was really all in her attitude. Yes. And everything that Girl, she was saying. I was like... I was like, this, this is bothering me. A disgrace. Yes. Because I'm just like... uh, First of all... Okay, so they had a date. I guess he showed up late. Fine. Either you could have left or you could have ate without him or whatever the reason is. You don't have to talk to him. No. So, you proceed to tell this man that you went out on a date 
And he was like, I have to make it up to you, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Telling him that, no, you're going to make it up to me today. You're going to pay for two steaks for my kids. First of all, kids. Why is your kid eating steak? Second of all, <laughs> telling him what you what he going to do mm -hmm. as a parent. First of all, that automatically shows that she using him. Period. That's like, mm -hmm. you're going to pay for two steaks for my kids. Second of all, he's like, the kids with their dad. Like, why would I? Why would he? Right. You know what? I'm just like, if it, at the end of the day, because first of all, I just think she's just trying to just just yeah, take whatever yeah. she can out of him just because she feel like she could do that. But she obviously wasn't having it. But then second of all, it's like, um, if it were me, if you would, if I showed up later, whatever, that's my bad. That ain't got nothing to do with the situation. My thing is, if you wanted me to purchase any type of food for your kids, all you had to do is ask. Do you mind if, especially if he's already paying for the meal in general? Right. Do you mind? Do you mind if I order my kids some tenders or whatever? To take to them. Why got me steak dinner? You know what I'm saying? He obviously knows that the kids. He probably would have had a different response. He would say, "Do you mind if I do so?" He might say, "Yeah, go ahead. That's fine." But you, oh yeah, you gonna you gonna get these steaks, man? Out of here. And that like I pregnant. said, why is the waitress? If that was me, I wouldn't say a thing. I'd be like, sir, because apparently this is the person that's paying for it. Sir, are you going to order these dinners or not? If he said no, guess what I'm going to do? Walk away. Because right. that's none of my business. I would ask she her. Here, yeah, yeah, you was late. Da, da, da. I'm like, girl. I would ask her, are you paying for it? <laughs> are, you, are you paying <laughs> for it? Are you going to pay for these? Okay, you're not going to pay for it girl, Why are you talking? <laughs> because at the end of the day, and she put in steaks and nobody buys it. And that's gonna be on her. Right. That's just like, you know what I'm saying? But I just thought the whole video was trifling. I'm just like, people can't be out here like this. Right. I can't I don't get it. But they are apparently. They're sick. <laughs> and I saw somebody comment and was like, Yeah, it's a shame how many it there can't be too many real men in these comments. This and that, I I don't see what's like. You just you take care of your girl, you take care of her kids, blah blah. blah. Hell no. Got me fucked up. It's how it's long a, has she even known this man? That, and he is not uh, he is not what word am I trying to use? Supposed to be. I want to use a different word, but he is not obligated to take care of your kids. And beyond that, it's all in the way you do things. Right. Like you said, if she had asked. She disrespectful. Mm hmm I wouldn't even want to see her after that. No. Been the end of that. All right. Ain't no way, boy. Mm-mm. On a lighter note, I got a random question for you. Huh. You wake up tomorrow. Are you a villain or a superhero? What? Like if you wake up and we're in a a Marvel world or a DC world, <laughs> are you a villain or a superhero? I'm a uh, I'm a hero of villainistic uh, tendencies. <laughs> you know why I thought of that is because. I think that's what I'd be too, or Homelander. It's one of those. But, um. <laughs> that nigga definitely a villain. <laughs> but, um, don't I have villain hair? Um, but, the reason why is because, and then I watched Black Adam on HBO yesterday. HBO. Cause I was trying to breathe. Baby, I think I'm, I'm getting full. Um, <laughs> I was trying to finish this. I done picked this roll up fast. I can't. I was doing what they said, eating too damn fast. Mm -hmm. I had to tell myself to slow. Man. I'm so doggone eager. Yeah, on HBO before he over here talking about me, talking about food. But um, watching Black Adam, and they was talking about Black Adam being, you know, <laughs> they said he won a hero, which he was killing folk. <laughs> but AJ, before they even said this man is not a hero, was like, you know, <laughs> Black Adam's kind of ruthless. Yeah. Like it's straight justice right there. He is, he is giving them death as their sentence. Like <laughs> he is lighting these niggas up. Yes, from the beginning. So that's, what made, <laughs> that's what made me ask that because I'm like, I probably would. I'm gonna bye.
Get out of here. I'm flying you across the mountains. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you out here doing wrong, you deserve. That's the consequence you get for your wrongdoing. I'm flying you across there. Although that ending where he, AJ, you said you was done, yet you over here nibbling on the corner. Put it I don't down. Wanna waste it. It's sitting there. I eat it later. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was flying folk. He was lightning me. Across the mountains. He burned a soul out there, damn body. Just, mm -mm. He turned that one dude into Skeletor in two seconds. <laughs> like, God, not, not Skeletor. But yeah, and then I, at the I end. I like that little boy. Uh uh. What little boy? He was like, uh. Uh uh. uh. <laughs> I gotta tell you eat that. Ray Ray. Ooh. Told you you get eager. That's why I said to myself, Danielle, you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down, girl. Cause you're gonna be through. You know how much you like mashed potatoes. Mm mm. And everything, not just cause I cooked it, but you everything is good. It might not look as good as it is, but. It's good. It's good. It's really good. Oh. So. I told myself to slow down. But anyway, <laughs> back to Black Adam. Yeah, I I feel like you know once the story was explained, it made a whole lot more sense. But yeah, I feel like whenever you have um, if you if you if, if you're gonna be the textbook version of a of a hero, it takes a lot of righteousness and it takes a lot of uh uh self control not to want to um. To hurt oh violently God. those who are you see hurting others, right? But especially because for him that was his people, so you know imagine this same thing. You're kind of like having a flashback because the same thing happened to you, and so now you're seeing it still happen to right, yeah. your people. So, but yeah. Also another thing I saw, and then I'm done. And I meant to send it to you earlier it was on TikTok. We were talking about um. Uh, Amish family, which I'm not going to get too much into religion because we don't talk about that up here. Yeah. But he was talking about how his dad had shot himself in the head. And um, they, you know, were because I guess he was trying to kill himself, trying to transport him to the hospital. The Amish community, they don't use like, yeah. they don't have cars or anything. Yeah. So they had to use taxis. So he was no longer a part of the Amish community. He um, got there before everybody else or whatever. He signed for the doctor to do the brain surgery on him or whatever. So then his family, his mom and everybody starts to finally get there. He's not in his Amish clothes. And she said that she could not look at him or talk to him because, you know, he didn't have the clothes on. Who was it? It's just a random guy on TikTok. No, no. But like, who his was mom. Who was it to him, the guy that was shot? His dad. So, Okay. His mom couldn't talk to him because he didn't have the clothes on that they normally have. So he goes to the thrift store to go and get something that would be more presentable for her. He brings it back. He shows the shirt. So I guess they can't have buttons all the way down and they can't have collars. The shirt he had had buttons all the way down. had collars, but it was just a white collar shirt and black pants. And he comes back and he was like, he could tell she wasn't happy. Still with what he had on. So he sat across from him and didn't talk to her. But long story short is that he was like for something to have happened so traumatic. This is his dad who he loved. Like she didn't right. want him in the room because of their religion. Right. And I'm just like if that was my daddy I would, not, <laughs> I would not go anywhere. But my thing is if it were not for him. He wouldn't have got. He wouldn't have been able to call nine one one for the ambulance to come get him. He wouldn't have been able to get to the hospital before everybody else to go ahead and be like, "Yes, do brain surgery on my dad." Like you know, even like it's like because listen, when it comes down to people's religious beliefs and things that they believe, I am a firm believer in letting people believe what they believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. Right. And um. But I do think it's sad when something um, as far as physical clothing could allow your, you could be that wrapped in something to where, you know what I'm saying, you are in a, like you said, a traumatic situation. You can't even, like, this you is can't life even get death. past, this is clothes now. This is the man who raised him. This is clothes. Like, <laughs> like he didn't, like, I don't. 
oh my god like it's clothes like he didn't come in there half naked from right. a strip joint or whatever like it's which I had no clue. <coughs> I had no clue that that is how that religion went. And you know, that, like AJ said, people are, you can believe what you want to believe. It is totally fine. I just thought it was so crazy. And I think that's what he was trying to right. bring up that something so traumatic. This is the man that raised him. We were all in the house together just because I decided to do something different. As far as something as little as clothing. He ain't cuss. He ain't do nothing. It was just clothing. That you don't want me in the same room with you. Yeah, you don't even want me here in the but hospital. You are, but the doctors are there. Everything. And you can tell, like, when something like that happened, or based off of that story, it's, it just runs deep and she's bitter and she's stubborn. Mm -hmm. Based off of, they probably got history. Mm -hmm. She probably, whenever he decided to do what he wanted to do, she probably tried to disown him right then and told him that she would never do A, B, C, and D. And she's trying to stick by it. But right. it's really sad when people... You'd be so bitter and hurt because it probably to me at this point I don't even think it's it's just their religion or mm -hmm. you know their customs that's getting in the way of that. I think she just it sounds like she just has an alt with him. That's right. just him. That's just you know whatever he decided to do in the past or whatever. I think it's just bad blood and I think she wants to be stubborn over mm -hmm. it. That's what it sounds like because you're there in the hospital, you with the doctors, and you're then with, he's the one that was able. I mean, cut you off. He was huh. the one that was able to get there quicker. Before everybody else to be able to because I'm sure with shooting yourself in the head, you don't have much, you know, you don't have much of a window of what to do. So probably if they would have waited for the rest of the family to get there, probably wouldn't have had time to even do surgery on him without him leaving here. That's crazy. So I'm like, why are you upset at him? Overclothes and he saved your husband. Like it's, it's really sad. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, when it comes down to people's religious beliefs and stuff, that's one thing. But like I said, I don't even think that's the case there. Mm -mm. I really think it probably stemmed from something like that, but I don't think that's the case. Right. I really don't. It just seems like if she didn't want him in the room based off of uh, some clothes and some stuff, mm -hmm. no, that definitely that was not that's just hers probably some problems. But like I I mean that's why I try not to speak on other people's religious right. beliefs and stuff like that because I get it. Even in Christianity, people believe differently, but I'm just like, let them believe differently. If you're not intentionally um, disrespecting somebody else or harming, people grow up how they grow up, you know what I'm saying? And they believe how they believe. Right. And I feel like if you're not discriminating against somebody or holding somebody back from living their life or this <laughs> and that, then, you know, that's it. You know, that's, right. just, that's just the world that we live in. So... It is what it is, but I really do think it's sad when you let something so like your family, <laughs> your fa so right, your family is your family, and at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying these people is that's who you have until they're gone, and mm -hmm. once they're gone, you can't get them back. So I'm just like, uh, that's your husband or whatever. He's in a traumatic situation. You have your your son in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Something can happen tomorrow he, right. and he's not and he may not be there. And that's so what he was like, saying. Something so painful has happened and get ready about my clothes. Right. But I mean it's similar stuff. I mean, this may be like a uh uh not so familiar situation to us, but similar things happen all the time mm -hmm. in um in more familiar circumstances like that we're familiar with. Like uh like um People go through stuff with their parents and then, you know, their parents disown them and then they don't want nothing to do with them or, they, you know, this and that. Right. And they find every reason to, uh, at funerals to not, not associate them. with them, not talk to them, this and that. It's just it's really sad. Right. Folks, we done moved away and then they come back home and then you just like, it's really sad. I just don't think that there's anything, unless it's just something that's extremely hateful and cruel, mm -hmm. that uh, my family could do. To me, to make me not want to talk to them, especially something yeah. you talking about physical clothing, but or you know, I understand that we don't gotta get along, we don't gotta see each other all the time. But I know that you're my family, and I know that you're human. You made a flesh and blood, just like I am. Mm -hmm. So, that's, yeah, I think it's crazy. But yeah. <coughs> really, nigga. Hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, my cough is clearing up. I ain't been coughing like that today. Sinuses. A lot better. Why would you suck in? Cause I mean, I, I tried to breathe, but uh. I didn't realize the thing. <laughs> like, I was trying to. I actually was doing like a sinus check. Like, can I breathe over my nose right now? But it was a little bit. Not over my cube steak piece for later. 
Girl, I done bit all around. Oh, uh, well, then never mind. <laughs> it's got a nibble on it. On uh, uh. Three sides look like Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, this food doesn't weigh heavy on me. Mm -mm. So, yeah, we about to go ahead and slide, y'all. If you haven't already, please make sure you sub to this channel, y'all. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below so we know. Yeah. <laughs> Just share this video. Share with everybody oh, Mama, because sharing is caring. So, care about us. Care about us. You love you. Yeah. Mean it. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to Doom. Damn. Y'all have a good week. Bye bye. Peace out.